College Football 25 Road to Glory with Rad King continues today in episode two. We were chasing after Booty all episode one, and it looks like we're still gonna have to chase General Booty as we fell to second in the depth chart in the offseason. That's right, after walking on for the worst offense in all of college football, we got our overall up to 74, not too shabby, but General Booty got cracking in the offseason up to an 81 overall, so I'm gonna have to fight for that spot. If you missed it, well, you didn't miss much. 539 passing yards, four touchdowns, and nine ints in the two games we had. Pretty atrocious stuff here on Heisman difficulty. I'm hoping your two's better. And it can get a whole lot better if we keep putting our energy into the gym. My focus for year two is clearly to train harder than ever before. I want to get as many skill points as I can. Low key, not going to care much about brand or studying. I'll do just enough in this department, but leadership, once we get to the starting job, we'll focus on this too. Leadership affects how fast your teammates progress their XP as well, so it's important we keep an eye on that. If we don't, this team will be stuck forever mediocre. And we definitely don't want that as ULM has dreams of being a competitor. Just like I had dreams of walking on and playing college football, they're finally becoming a reality. So never say never, even the worst team in college football can turn it around. First game on our calendar is against the FCS West Royals, essentially Bengals Riverside Royals. So shout out to those guys. And if you're interested in all that fun team builder stuff, go check out the CUNA Kings. We just dropped episode one and have plenty more apps on the way. The Potato Kings made up of farmers play a mean brand of football and uh, they're looking for a lot of help just like the Warhawks. These guys need a lot of help out of the Sun Belt. But yes, a new season spells for new opportunity. It's fresh. The air is clean. A lot of excitement on campus for football. Maybe ULM gets enough of a lead where we can get some backup reps. I don't know. Let's see. Nah, General Booty closed this one out winning 33-14. So there you go, home fans. Joe Baisley, seven catches, 133, and three touchdowns. I'll keep my eye out for him when I get the job. Just like that, only going into week two, we have a position battle against the man himself. I guess coach wasn't sold from what he saw out of booty in the first week against the FCS Royals. And now we have a chance here through mini games to get the job. Looking to beat a score of 6,000. Let's go ahead and lob one up. Coach, trust me, you won't see that during the game. Wink, wink. 40 seconds to get this many points feels like a long time time, especially when we got all day in the pocket, which is extremely unrealistic because the Warhawks are going to be pressured out of their mind. For the sake of the mini game, though, we have completed it, and that is officially one mini game down, one to go. Pocket presence is the name of the game. Only got to beat 4,000, so that should be very doable. As long as we keep dodging tennis balls, finding that target, we should have this thing wrapped up in just a matter of moments. Bingo, bongo, and that's the job, folks. Just absolutely love the way Rad whips it. The three-quarter delivery is just so crispy. On the move, looking like Mahomes a bit, huh? And then to top it off, we have the option attack, which is my bread and butter. I'll win this game 10 out of 10 times. Booty is taking his booty straight to the bench, and the only booty that he'll be kissing up to is Rad King because we have the job, and now he's our backup. Bust out the brooms. It's the 3-0 sweep, but we still got love for our teammate. Never stop hitting the iron and maybe hit it a little too hard. We're at severe risk of injury going into our first start. And oh boy, no one told me my first start was gonna be against Alabama. Everyone better wish me luck in the comment section because Rad King has his hands full against the Crimson Tide. Not a fun environment, not a fun team to play against. Surely not a warm up by any means. This is thrust right into the fire. Coach might question going back to booty after he sees how poorly we might perform. And Rad hurt himself in the gym getting ready for the game. Alabama just has that effect on you. Everyone's starting off cold. And now we'll run the read option. I keep it. Rad cuts left fights for the first. Could have been wise to hand it off, but we'll go ahead and take our second chances. I wish I knew what buttons I was throwing to. Thankfully, he hauled it in. That fog of war was killer when we ran that last play. Now Rad trying to step up, get through an Alabama defender, but not two. Gonna run the RPO. I'll take the slant. Got our receiver injured on the last play, so I'm not proud of that. As we throw a red zone interception, is anyone gonna be able to stop him? Terrible way to end that drive. Four minutes to work, down by 10. Maybe he has a step here. 44, we connected in practice. You remember me? Touchdown, Warhawks. Let's go. Joe Baisley, what a stud muffin coming down here with the big vert, getting past the Crimson Tide defender. Watch out now. Don't let Rad King cook as there's Baisley again 
again he's having a field day i'm literally just looking for 44 and if he's available we're going to him look at him just put on moves third and five they're picking up the noise right across the middle we got him gonna need these points before half as we slip it off to the running back number 18 put on a move fight forward touchdown hold the line rag king might be ready for his moment third and 31 good luck we're just gonna throw one up deep to 81 i think he's got a one-on-one -on -one ball really dumb really dumbfounded how we still have an opportunity in this game after everything we've been through but heck i will take it my man all day as our receiver could be cooking hold on now He's working on something. Two minute warning into the red zone. Let's go ahead and get some points. I'm gonna scramble out to the right, look around, survey, go ahead and test it. We sold the bag when it mattered most. I think we'll have better days in store. The elephant's happy, the tide are rolling. It was scary for them for three quarters of this game till they pull away in the fourth. After Rad King sold the game, Darius Bailey hit my line saying, don't look on social media today. We got roasted. We can go attack the fans, attack the coach, or make a burner account and defend myself. I guess we couldn't even get that right because Darius said we posted on some dude's comments from my real account defending myself in the third person and we're just getting roasted. It. torn to shreds we're losing followers in our brand image offensive coordinator nick tanner's got some time for extra reps so i'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of this let's put two energy into selling the play action leading to a plus five attribute increase for the next game who created this year two schedule for the warhawks because now we have to take on number four nc state if we're not on the road facing alabama we're on the road facing the wolf pack i can only hope for better results in this one number four in the nation another tough test for rad but who knows he is a pretty rad guy so maybe he'll turn the tide basely darn near put up 200 yards against alabama so he is a superstar in the development coach is calling a fake screen wheel so we'll go ahead and see if it works out dude that was not a shot looking for better results second drive there's the play action what we've been working on in practice destroyed third and nine basely springs free he is off to the races first and goal let's give it off to 18 destroyed man terrible terrible work work at the goal line cut the kicker because how did we miss a three-point chip shot at our own one i'm gonna send davis on a streak because i knew based on the defensive positioning he was lined up ready to go the distance and he busted out of there third and seven gonna look for some separation from anyone on the team basely's always a good bet touchdown warhawks beautiful first time i ran a play action it got destroyed i thought we were working hard at practice on this and it gets destroyed again definitely need the o-line to help me out fumble strip sacked another big man touchdown it happens all too often because we have no protection i wish i could say i'm surprised but this is expected for how bad of a team we are i'm gonna have to play till the final whistle and that final whistle couldn't come sooner going for it fourth and 17 down by three touchdowns let's just go ahead and take the one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside and our guy went and got it touchdown down by 14 with three minutes left maybe i shouldn't be packing the bags quite yet there is time to get some work in and we'll go ahead and hit him back underneath big play looking for a couple more big plays it's fourth down basely maybe on the inside no need to see the last one finish up it was a doozy so we'll go ahead and talk to karen instead because that's more entertaining than losing big i'm not gonna study it's too early in the season to consider that rad king is finally trained enough to rack up eight skill points which means we can go into this upgrade panel and upgrade our power why do i feel like that was a giant scam only went up one overall in like two throw power points donna's back to remind me of the losing streak we're going through so let's promise her a win for the next week our gpa took a small hit because we weren't prepping whatsoever and you know what i'm still not prepping more training and recovery sunny sombrero decided to slide through with a commercial shoot they can't offer much I and mean, we're not even commanding that much of a presence anyway but the proposal is a four-week contract two energy up front small leadership boost per week and then on completion 10,000 followers let's sign the contract the team has fallen to one in four and it's time to get right against south alabama let's go ahead and get a win at home so our job can stay secure i don't want any funny business with booty getting any ideas on the bench after a four game losing streak love the p40 warhawk alternate jerseys here hawk yeah let's get a win quickly down 7-0 here at home we need to find someone to come through for us like number zero to get down the field and start scoring i see a star under griffin's name that must be for a reason who really deserves a star is basely hands down but for now 
Griffin, good move. Opening drive didn't pan out, but maybe the second drive will be much more our speed as we hit a wide open receiver. Seriously, need to get Baisley on the field more as he cooks everyone on his routes. Play actions were a dud last week against North Carolina State. Warhawks looking for that strike to get into the... Nah, fam, he did me dirty. I seriously wish I had enough time to like in the past skeleton game, but I really don't have time to do anything. Troubles holding up on the offensive line has led into a 21-0 deficit. All of a sudden, Rad King is cooking in the kitchen. Gonna go over the middle to Baisley. Get in there, big boy. Touch down U L M fly Warhawks fly you want to know what's better than one score two scores let's do it again Griffin and the Warhawks are hungry to win a ball game so let's do it back to work we go Baisley looking to slide on through scrambling out to our right surveying 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 gonna just take it and get a few nothing really panned out there for us but maybe it'll pan out now in the corner of the end zone why he got it he got it okay I was gonna say I thought he stepped out and I was about to clown him but he's gonna hit the gritty and clown on them Jaguars. Wait, they're reviewing it and I think they reversed it. So no matter of fact, I am roasting you and towel snapping you at halftime. That is unacceptable. You have to keep the wide open play alive, my man. It could have been a one possession game, but he had to get all fancy with the footwork and just totally miss on the pylon. And look at us now, down by two three possessions we have to hope for a comeback with 27 seconds to work it begins right now deflected interception at the red zone you're out of your mind right now man this is going out of whack promising start goes down in defeat one-on-one -on -one ball to our star griffin he's got it shout out to griffin for not letting us pout getting us right back into the action and basely for getting a touchdown and getting us right in to the fray number 44 is my favorite player hands down seriously built different out here just like griffin trying to press up and win this one-on-one -on -one ball yeah baby the superheroes are coming out to play in this one right over the middle fourth and one i'm definitely going for it so coach is just gonna have to trust me on this one i need his unfaith dying no 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 man third and two this is big let's just hand it off try to get the sure couple third and three slants on the line scrambling anyone is that my man basely we took our three but at what cost the war is practically over now these darn warhawks just letting me down even though I know we're on the precipice of truly something spectacular, it's just going to take us a lot longer to get there than I anticipated. I'm afraid ULM is just not playing rad football, living up to the rad king name. It's exam week and I have one energy point left. I don't even know if it's worth the time to pump it into academics, but I guess there goes nothing. Four more skill points secured. We're going to update the accuracy rating and boom, that brings us right to an 80 overall. Five games remain. We're two and five. If we win the next five, we'll be bowl eligible, but that's a tough task with Nebraska in our way. This is a hostile environment. Nebraska and their fans are diehard, even if their team is a little rough around the edges. It's going to take a great game from Rad King to get the win here. Sending everyone on a go. Let's chuck one up to Griffin, our big time receiver. It was worth a try. Before I've even gotten comfortable in the game, they're up 17-0. Only my third time possessing the ball. It's the second quarter. Defense is squad wandered it. SOS. I've barely had any action on the field and it's 24 to zero. What a pancake by the big boy. Clock is ticking. We need to make some magic happen in and out the hands. Rad is getting cold as the game is progressing. I couldn't even get it off in time. It will be my mission to at least secure one victory by the time this episode's over. Karen's giving me essentially my final warning that I'm about to be suspended and our play on the field not too hot. The team not too hot. So I might as well agree and write this extra credit paper. Another week goes by and all of a sudden I have the road dog ability not sure what i did to get a glizzy flashed on my screen but it looks like it's the 10,000 followers that we got from our nil deal at the end of our season rad king up to an 83 overall ul monroe is yet to win another one two and nine this is quite literally our last chance to win who says we can't wear the p40 warhawk alternates on the road i'm doing it make southern miss stop me i dare them truly a forgettable season nothing of note nothing of worthy honestly just a bad had year all around looking for any bright side in this season it's that we at least got ourselves up to an 83 overall so heck 
I'm excited about that. We got some decisions to think about going into the next season. Did we hit the portal? Truly tough decisions all around because I'm truly grateful for the opportunity that ULM gave us as we walked on the worst player in college football to the worst offense in college football. But that's no longer the case. We walked on, won the starting job, beat out general booty as we should, and now we're an 83 overall. An 83 overall going into our redshirt sophomore season, that commands some respect. We would be a hot target on the portal so i'm definitely thinking about it because ultimately i want to win a championship and i don't know if ulm is going to be that team before i make any rash decisions though i need to at least see out this season and try to win a game please southern miss not getting up super early on us in this one which is a surprise most teams get way up if they get one more win they'll be six and six which could be good enough for bowl eligibility sorry golden eagle fans i don't want you guys getting to a bowl game i want to win one for my warhawks over the middle we got separation in the first a minute 13 left on that clock let's go to work curl flat here we go we got Baisley. if rad king hits the portal that is one guy he'll truly miss it's Baisley. so maybe we can convince him to come with us you never know touchdown warhawks we got one 84 trying to silence the crowd talking a big talk for two and nine southern miss did not like that they scored and we're back into a ball game coach is content running out the clock on this one but i don't know rad king feels like there's still more in the tank well this stinks down by a touchdown we're cold anything anyone there we go we got no one griffin didn't catch it if they keep selling me like that i'm about ready to pack my bags second and nine this is the game in essence did my man Baisley? he did him like that yes touchdown i'm hyped we're tied up that is some next level football right there third and eight i think Baisley is free hitting him in stride let's go win a ball game got southern miss burning timeouts they think it's field goal range and just as good as over until i threw an interception right to their db now the only thing that could be over here are our hopes and dreams for that win instead it's overtime football folks and i have a wide open tight end on the first play need a clutch play right here underneath there it is we have the lead and a mirror has happened the defense stop them on their ot possession the warhawks get a win i have not seen a celebration like this with rad king at the helm joe basely give it up for the player of the game feels good to be on this side of things jacob from the newspaper asking how i reflect on a tough season let's just give him the respectful answer antonio williams had a heisman like season 23 touchdown catches and for the warhawks it looks like not dead last second to last ahead of james madison in the sun belt troy and georgia southern were the best two teams the ever pressing question of the transfer portal that is what is going to start off our next episode so i hope you're soaking up this road to glory two years down the hatch it is rad king's journey to stardom year one not so much year two not too great either. Finally getting some in-game action, got a win, and is up to an 83 overall. So he's developing well. The team around him is struggling. So that's why I'm considering the transfer portal. Who knows, maybe someone or something will sway me one direction or another. Until next time, hit the subscribe button and be sure to check out other King Sponge college football videos, Dynasty Rebuilds, Team Builder, a lot of fun stuff. And you're not gonna wanna miss this next one.